If you're serious about changing your life, you need to start in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing you should do is make your bed. You should not be leaving your house with an unmade bed. Next, you need to drink some water. Spend some time with yourself. That can be journaling, meditation, saying affirmations in the mirror. However you want to do it, spend some time connecting with yourself. And lastly, you need to be eating some breakfast. You've got to give your body some fuel to start the day. On the bottom, Paige, you were good, I'm waiting for you to be great. And next, Kendall, you didn't stick out to me. Next is Brooke. Next, Nia, you're third on the pyramid, you were third overall high score. And Mackenzie, and on top of the pyramid, going three for three, once again, is Maddie. So I decided to start viewing my 20s less as a waiting room and more as a dressing room. The waiting room analogy to me was like waiting for life to happen to me. A dressing room, you have more agency. You get to pick what you want to try on. You can try on jobs, partners, cities, friendships, etc. And you can choose to leave behind whatever doesn't fit you right. So instead of waiting for people and jobs and families to come in and start my life, I'm decorating my life with relationships and opportunities and experiences that feel authentic to me. We are committing to the healthy habits that make us feel our best in June and moving on to the weekly commitments. Number one is amazing, practice it, believe it. Two and three, I'm obviously trying to grow up my hair and have the best skin possible. Four, curiosity connect with two people. So Brian Grazer wrote a book called A Curious Mind and it's basically about 
having conversations with people just for the sake of curiosity and human connection, and it's a networking tool. It's amazing. I'm going to try to do that with two people every single week. Fresh flowers make me feel so good to wake up to in my bedroom. Six is staying true to not bloating. No creepy leftovers and avoiding coffee without water. So just I know the foods that make me feel bloated. I'm just going to try to avoid those for a bit. And seven is obviously my summer moves and mind at home workout and life coaching program that launches June 1. Come and join us if you want to follow along as well.